interesting characters who are here to talk about something pretty interesting. And of course, in the studio with me, I have Adim Isiapona. Hello, hello. All right, a pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure and being here. also a W Tech representative by the name of Dupe Darabino. Hello. Hello. So. It looks like it's going to be one of those really interesting sessions, of course, to empower the lovely ladies out there. And the ladies' man, of course, uh, is here as well to go ahead and let you know exactly how this will be working out. So let me just go ahead and ask you, sir, what, uh, who are you representing here? Uh, so, uh, like you said, my name is Adim Isiapana. Mm -hmm. I am the marketing and PR manager for Intel Corporation covering West Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're here today to talk about the Intel Shield Connect program and, like, your heard uh, Titi Lopez spoken words poem. Uh, so she is our spokesperson and, and ambassador for the Intel Shield Connect program in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, the Shield Connect program, right, is an initiative of Intel working in collaboration with a lot of NGOs and international organizations to bridge the gender gap um, for women uh, okay. through technology and access to, to the internet, right? Uh, you would agree with me that technology and the internet has helped transform billions of lives of people and created a lot of opportunities for people. But the constant fact remains that women and girls are left behind in this big movement. Um, so for us at Intel, in, in response to this uh, gap, we have created the Shield Connect uh, initiative. Um, and we're kicking this off in Sub-Saharan Africa, mm -hmm. Nigeria, Kenya, and Nigeria, um, South Africa being the hot countries where we're starting off uh, this program and we intend to scale to other countries and, and, and continents. Uh, the goal for us in Africa is to, to reach 5 million women uh, by 2020 uh, mm -hmm. through our partnerships with NGOs like WTEC and, and other NGOs that we're working with and, and larger corporations, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so really interesting stuff. So speaking of WTech, uh, your participation, of course, in this particular campaign, She Will Connect program, uh, how would you say, wh in what way are you guys coming through? Okay, for WTech, our vision is to have a society of Nigerian girls and women mm -hmm. using and creating um, solutions, using and creating solutions using ICTs, mm -hmm. you know, because it's generally no no it has been accepted as a norm that is a masculine field and we are trying to break grants more grants where more women come into this terrain and say that yes technology is here to stay and we are here to take our place on the table just like um titi lopez rightfully said in our poem saying that the women should start taking their place at the table and that's what we are doing with technology because we see it like women are kind of scared when it comes to technology you see women get scared when you put them on a keyboard but we want them to get to that level when they know that they can use do much more with their phones they can use do much more using ict to leverage on um, the, it's a fight kind of trying to get your own place in a place where it's already crowded with men okay so it's like we are here to stay and that's what WTEC is all about helping women to understand that this is a place for them to be in alright well this is and as Titi Lakbeya Oshunaga is uh, she is Shonaga excuse me is a spokesperson for the She Will Connect uh, campaign. I have to ask though, because also you're a civil engineer I as well. Mm -hmm. Right now, quite a, quite a lot of accolades. You know, civil engineer. <laughs> you know, she's an award-winning poet and then a well-known actress for Giddy Up. Mm -hmm. You know, so based on how this is, you know, connecting to you personally, how wh what would you say? How would you say technology has impacted your life as a woman? As a woman, well. Um, I guess first, technology has impacted my life as a human being in the same way that it's impacted mm. lives of people across the world. So being able to connect to this global network of people okay. shows you different options, right? So because I was able to connect online, I also was able to see other women who were excelling in their fields, doing a number of different things at the same time. So when you have those mirrors, you as a person feel like, okay, maybe I could do that. Okay, maybe I could try that. So I'm hoping that my role as a spokesperson and being able to say, yes, I was an engineer, but I'm also a poet who's also an actor. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to leverage those opportunities because I'm connected online. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the greatest things that have happened to me have happened because somebody sent me a tweet or a DM. And so I'm hoping that women who see my story, mm -hmm. not just hearing the poem, but actually seeing me as a human being and seeing what I've been able to accomplish will say, you know, there are really no boundaries. There's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that you can do. And simply by mirroring back to them, all these stories, they can start to feel like, okay, I can take that step towards that thing I always wanted to do. And so I'm hoping uh, that will be my role in the campaign. 
All right. Now, as far as uh, your role in this campaign is concerned, mm -hmm. and also the women, the 